Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to this week's video. I have a lot going on at the shop this week, so this week we're going to do something a little bit more chill, a little bit more unplanned, and I would like to tell you about some of the plants I have down here on the floor. The plants I'd like to show you today are plants that I've kind of walked around my shop and gone, hmm, quite nice. So there isn't really a theme, it is literally me walking around the shop and picking up plants that maybe I haven't seen for a while, maybe they've been there the whole time, Maybe they just come to fruition and now they look great. There's a little bit of a blend, really, of stuff here. We have maybe about three variegated things and then the rest are all non-variegated. So, as usual, a little bit of a mix. So, this guy is actually from upstairs in the studio. I have more than one of these, but I think when I say I have more than one, I literally mean I have two. This guy here, I believe, is Skindapsis Platinum. I can't remember exactly what it was called. Again, if you guys remember, this was a while ago I got this in. Now, skin dapses aren't known for being the quickest growers, and I have to say this one definitely follows that. This was two leaves when it went into this pot, and now we have a few more. Now, it is looking really gorgeous, and I'm very, very happy with it, which is obviously why I'm showing you it today. But I have to tell you how slow this grows. Oh my god, it doesn't really seem to matter what you feed it, to be honest. I think it's just a skin dapses thing. I think it's a silver thing. I don't know if anybody's noticed this, but silvery things, it's the same with variegated things, not always of course, but they just grow a bit slow. Skin dapses aren't known for being the quickest type of plant anyway, but this, this guy is slow. Is he worth it though? Honestly, you tell me. I would say yes. Let's push him up to the camera so you can get a little bit of a sense of how he actually looks. Hopefully today my camera is going to play ball and it's going to focus. That's what he looks like up close. I would say... It's hard to tell on the viewfinder how he's coming off. I don't have my monitor today. Normally I have a big monitor so I can see what I'm doing. I don't. I have my camera's viewfinder and I can't really tell what it's coming off like. It is quite a bluey silver and it is very pretty, but oof, oof, it's taken a long time to get to this point. I think what I might do, I might let this grow a little bit longer and I'm going to start propagating it and stuffing it back in because I really like some of this in my house just as a full plant. So I'm kind of thinking of doing that. But yeah, very quick tour of him. He's growing well and I'm really, really happy with him and I can't wait to make him a little bush for my house because I think he's going to look really cute. Let's follow that up with a plant that is so much quicker. Like, Literally, if you want to get quick propagations out of a plant, this is the type of plant you go for. So this plant, it's no comparison. Now I have, I've lobbed the head off this. I'm not gonna lie. And I do have a few of these, but I think this is Epipremnum. What is this again? Epipremnum marble? Why can't I remember a single name today? I haven't had breakfast, I think that's why. But I've chopped the head off this and it's already, I literally, I chopped this last week, last week. So about five days ago. And already, can you see, can you see the growth it's giving me? Already, already. These are so, 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 so fast. So fast. Now, there is a cheap alternative, and I feel like it's literally my duty to tell you this on every video where I mention this plant. There is a cheap alternative to this plant. It is called Epipremnum Marble Queen, also known as the Marble Queen Pothos. Now, this is brighter and it will stay brighter. I know for a fact the Marble Queen can get very dull and it can go quite greeny if you don't give it what it loves. This, if you want that effect, this is the one for you because it stays that way and it is proper variegation. Not that the other one isn't proper variegation, it just develops over time and it's it's a bit different. If you know the plant, you get what I mean. I'm all over the place today, guys, sorry. I have to show you this because the contrast between this and the Skendapsis is ridiculous. I do have one of these growing up a pole. It is sort of over there and I didn't want to pick it up because it's just a bit large to pick up for the camera. So I thought I'd show you this one. I'm sure I have one where I haven't actually lobbed the head off it. It's probably around somewhere, but I need to tell you about these because I bought these in and they have just grown and grown and grown. And I think they're going for a decent price now. Can't really remember off the top of my head, but how nice is he though? The variegation is quite, I almost want to say fizzy, and I've said this a few times, but it's kind of fizzy looking. Let me show you it up to the camera. There, you see what I'm talking about? It's just got a really weird vibe to it, but nice plant. Epipremnum. Guys, can't go wrong, can't go wrong. To propagate these, by the way, if anybody's interested, this is in moss, it works fine. They will do fine in water and they very rarely rot in water, I've found. It's not like a Monstera situation or a Philodendron situation. These guys will grow in water, no problem. So they're very beginner friendly and they're very propagation friendly as well. I don't get failures on them. I can probably, you know, cut something with a tiny bit of aerial root such as, can I show it, that there. 
and it's absolutely fine. So if you want one of these and you want to propagate it, go for it because you will have propagations coming out of your ears. But I wanted to show you this because although I did lob the end off it, it's looking very cute and that's going to grow back really quickly. So if you want to buy a small amount of this and make a big bush, easy, easy done. But he's cute. He's maybe not looking quite the best he could because again, I've lobbed him off, but he's fine. He's cute. I like him. I'm going to keep going with the theme of smaller plants and we're just going to get larger as we go because I feel like that's just how this video has taken on its form. These are the plants that I'm picking up. But the next plant that I have to show you, oh, this is so good. This is so good. I did put this up on Instagram and I put a bit of a filter on it, you know, transparency. And there was somebody saying basically like, is this the actual color? And I thought that's a very good point to be honest. So I put a picture of what this plant looks like on my Instagram story, but obviously it vanished. So given that it does look very sexy, I thought I'd show you it now so you can see on camera um, in accordance like with my regular videos how this sort of plant looks. This here is a Syngonium pink salmon. It's gorgeous. If you know of the, I can't pronounce it, but I call it an Engern, Engern, Lima, whatever it is. Don't have one to hand, they're all over there. But it's very similar to that plant. It's very, very, very small, but the pink, the pink, the pink. Honestly, watch this. See if I can show you this through the camera. Can you see how amazing that is? Let me just... Sorry if uh, Lekka falls out. It's probably going to, isn't it? Can you see how amazingly pink this plant is? How amazing is that? Really, really pretty plant. Now, this plant is actually just lobbed off the end of my mother plant. I have one of these plants, guys, because I don't think they were very cheap when I bought them in. So I let it vine, which I think I've shown you on a previous video a while ago. I let it vine a bit, and this is actually the end of the vine. What happened was it decided to vine to a point, and then it just decided to grow a whole new plant on the end of it. So I lobbed it off, and that's what we have. I think given that I only have one other mother, I will let him grow a little bit more and let him do his thing. He did have good roots when I put him in. I can see some roots poking out the top already, which is ridiculous, but I had to show you how cute he was. He's so pretty though. He's so pretty. And these things, from my experience anyway, they seem to stay quite small. So if you want to have a really small space, like maybe you want to plant on a coffee table or something like that, this might be quite a nice one. Obviously, it's not the only small syngonium out there, but if you like a bit of pink, kind of good and it's very slow growing i have to tell you that guys it's so slow growing so in a way and i've said this before in videos having a slow growing plant is not the worst thing in the world it's just not it's just not for example take the coffee table which is what i might do with some of my plants when i get my house i kind of want a slow growing plant on the table because i don't really want to have to repot it i don't want to be sitting in front of a bush so stuff like this and the other plant i mentioned the the engern they are very very good for that because they just sort of stay little so this might be, might be one you want to go for. Let me know what you think of this, because I think a few people saw on Instagram and they were like, yas. So there he is again. Very, very cute. Let me know what you think. I'm going to put him down so he can live his best life on the floor. Right, I know, I know. I know, I've spoken about this plant quite a bit recently, but I'm just so obsessed with it, guys. And this plant is looking fantastic. This plant is giving me such a good yield off the one plant. I don't know if it's this plant specifically or it's Syngonium chiapensi in general, but oh my God, the yield I've had off this plant, and it keeps giving me these without reverting and giving me all yellow leaves, right? Now, there's only one other plant I know of in this shop that gives me the same thing, and it might be something you've experienced too. This plant, at least this specific specimen, so I could be wrong, if I am wrong, obviously let me know in the comments, but this plant here seems to behave very, very, very similar to variegated Adansonii when you chop it. I keep getting these stunning leaves. Now, I might have just hit lucky. I completely appreciate that, but I don't know. I keep getting them. No matter what, I just keep getting them. I hope I haven't jinxed myself. I hope that doesn't change because that would kind of suck. But how nice is he? He's not full size, by the way, obviously. These things can get really big, but because I keep choppity chopping him, you know, to get my return on my investment, he's staying a bit smaller. But I have to show you these stems because these stems look absolutely beautiful. You see them there a little bit on the back. To be honest, I think the front looks better. It's just being able to see them through the leaves. If I tip the leaves back, then you can see through it. It's got really good variegation on this plant. This plant, although it cost me a hell of a lot of money, it's been really, really worth it. And I know this video isn't about investment plants, but I know a lot, a lot of the time people are asking me like, should I buy this, should I not buy this? And I know not everything is about making an investment, of course, but it helps. 
right? It helps in this day and age, it helps. So if you're putting that time into growing it and you need to keep your collection a certain size because you've got stuff everywhere, it doesn't hurt to sell a few top cuttings or whatever. So this one in particular has done nothing, nothing but give me good yield. I think this cutting's quite new, but it's already growing and rooting. Why? Because it's a syngonium, but it's the good kind because not all syngoniums are created equal, to be honest. This one though, grows really quickly, propagates really well, gives you good aerials. Looks like this, really, really nice. Let me know if you have one of these, if you're getting the same thing happening, so a little bit more like a variegated Anzonii, or am I just lucky with this one? Let me know, because I'm getting really good yield off this plant, and I need to know if it's all of them or just mine. This is variegated Syngonium Chiapensi, and it just looks amazing. Right, last small plant before we get a little bit larger. Now then, now then, do you remember a variegated philodendron, variegated, Philodendron Plowmanii that I showed y'all, I think it was on Instagram, in late 2021, so last year. And then I had a little bit of shit on the internet because, you know, why not? It was a Thursday after all. A lot of people said, you know, it's viral, how dare you talk about viruses on plants and you know, putting viral stuff up, so obviously I tested it and it wasn't. I did tell you, I'd update you on what happened with that Plowmanii. Now, that Plowmanii decided it was going to revert pretty much instantaneously after that leaf. And I have been cutting that damn plant ever since. Every couple of leaves, I'll cut it and see what happens. So I have, honestly, I have several. I probably have 10 or 11 of them. And just recently, it started to come back. So it was all green, it's come back. Now, before I hold it up, it's a little bit unhealthy. We did have a heat wave in the UK a couple of weeks ago, maybe a little bit longer now. Um, and it, it's kind of cooked a lot of my plants, to be honest. A lot of these plants behind me look really shit right now. Um, they're just kind of recovering. But I'll show you kind of the health that the plant is in. Can you see what I'm saying? It's not in the best health at all. But, and this isn't quite as bright as the original leaf that you may have seen, but it's it's coming back, guys. It's coming back. So what we have is, if I show you this leaf up close, and I'm going to hold it there for a while so you can really get a sense of what's coming in. Obviously, on one side, you can see more variegation than another, but it is there. I promise you, it is there. It is coming back. It could do with being healthier, of course, like I said before, but it's coming back in. And I nearly missed this, actually, because I looked one day and it was green. I looked the next day and I could see stuff coming in. So that's really good. I do have some more variegated Plowmanii that aren't from this mother. I actually had another Plowmanii that started to do kind of big blocky yellow bits of variegation as well. So I'm kind of seeing how that goes. It's not connected to this plant, different mother, different type of variegation and everything, but I'm kind of like, mm, okay, there's hope yet, right? There's hope yet. I need more than this to make it exciting, don't get me wrong, but the fact that it's come back is excellent and hopefully it will keep coming back. So I do realize this is underwhelming. I do, I do, you can say it, it's fine. But you can see that it is coming in. So I will keep an eye on that and let you know what happens, but I'm kind of excited. It would be really, really good if this held up, would it not? I'm sorry guys, I had to, I had to, I had to. I know you're probably sick of this plant by now, but I have to show you it. Like, I know everyone's seen it. You've probably seen it. If you haven't seen it, welcome, you're gonna love this. I can't stop looking at this. I can't stop walking past it, appreciating it. It's got pups that are growing. The pups are looking absolutely divine, by the way. This is, I do believe, I think I got it wrong on the last video. It's Aglaonema Manila's Pride. And it's just, oh my God, it, like, you can't not like this plant. If you don't like this plant in the comments, I'd love to know what is wrong. What is wrong with this plant? I don't get it. It's so gorgeous, honestly. Let me show you a little pop, because if you remember on that rain pop with me, these pops were quite small, but they're getting bigger quite quickly, I have to say. You see that there? There's one pop looking extra sexy, and the other one, to be fair, the other one is kind of still coming in. Sorry, I'm trying to get it to focus. It doesn't always want to though. It's finding a face in the background. Apologies guys, there we go. And then if I just tilt the plant, hopefully, it's still going to focus on something and it's still going to give you good viewing. Now, I'm a little bit concerned about the middle of the plant for obvious reasons. I'll try and show you this so that it doesn't uh, clink my mic, but if you can probably tell, it's, mm, this, this isn't so great guys, this isn't so great because if this keeps happening, I don't know how I'm going to chop this plant and get it to grow again. 
So I'll have to see what happens there. But here we've got a lot, a lot, a lot of variegation. And I can see that the new leaf has a lot as well. I'm not very happy with that. Now, I know everyone loves a lot of variegation, but I should do a video on this. It's got its limits, and this is over the limit for me. I think a good leaf, of course, would be something like this. I don't really have to have 50% variegation to be happy. I'm quite happy with 40%, maybe even sometimes 30% on a plant, right? It doesn't have to be absolutely caked in variegation to look good and to be sustainable. Sometimes it's better to go a little bit lower, and I think... The plant is just healthier, it grows faster, it doesn't burn as much. There's actually a lot of advantages to doing that, but this one is just a bit, it's a bit over the line. So I don't know, I haven't had this plant before, I don't know how, you know, if there's aerials and shit like that, I don't quite know how it's going to go. I can see that the spacing here is just like nothing at all, so it might be a scalpel situation. I will see how it goes, and if parts of it start dying off, I'm going to have to do something, but... But how beautiful is this plant? Can we please appreciate it for its current state? You guys may remember I unboxed this in a variegated unboxing video and I was just obsessed with it when I got it. I'm still obsessed with it. Look at this shit. Oh my God. Maybe this is one for the house, guys. Maybe I could take one of these pups and put it in the house and get it really big. Oh my God, you know what? I think we should do that. I mentioned this before, but when I move into the house, I want more bushy plants than things that have to go up poles because I don't like poles. So maybe this one's a really nice one, actually. Mm, I might steal a pop for that. I might steal a pop. This one's a bit much. I don't want this in my house. I can't deal with the problems, but I might take one of these pups here with less on for the house. So there you go. Aglaonema Manila's Pride. Absolutely sexual. People keep saying to me, why do you keep saying plants are sexual? But sorry, they are. Look at this. Look at this. It's amazing. So yeah, I'm going to pop them down because although I have been at the gym, my biceps are still hurting. So I'm going to put this down so I can recover because the next two plants are a bit larger. I'm going to have to pick them up. I'm not going to linger on this next one too long, but what I will say is it's so underrated. I don't understand why more people aren't obsessed with this plant. This plant could look better as well. It's been kind of zapped in the heat wave, but let me just hold it up for you. This here, it's so nice. I think I held this up at a video once and someone said, is it um, Anthurium serenoi or something like that? It's not. This is actually Magnificum, guys. And I'm going to give it a little bit of time here because not enough people like these and I don't know why. I don't know if it's just because they're very minimal or what, but this is Anthurium Magnificum Verde. So it's just basically a dark form of Magnificum with hardly any veins. And I tell you what, I'm so obsessed with these plants. One of these might have to go in the house as well if I can handle something velvety. I haven't decided what I want to do yet, but I had to show you it because it's bringing in a new leaf and it's awesome. So let me just show you the new leaf. Hopefully, if I can get that up to the camera and not wobble it too much. That's him at the minute. How sexy is he? So yeah, really, really brief mention, but I just, I want to know why people don't like these as much. Because honestly, in the anthurium world, guys, these are very easy. I find these some of my easiest anthurium. And I mean, like, easier than forgetti eye. They're really quite good. So let me know what you think of these. And if it even reminds you of a Magnificum. Because it doesn't for me, but I am actually obsessed with these. I love these so much. It's not always about variegation and bright veins, you know. Sometimes it's just about being a bit understated. And this one does it for me. Right. Okay, I'm going to step back, but this is the last plant I'd like to tell you about. And this here, hopefully it does not get my microphone. This here, what is it? It is Philodendron Orange Marmalade, I do believe. Now, it's not looking unbelievably orange, I'm not going to lie. Can you see? Can you see? Yeah, actually, on camera, it looks green as hell. That's a shame. I mean, don't get me wrong, the older leaves are green as hell. It just hasn't had great light. And obviously, we've missed this leaf here being super orange. But I just wanted to show you what a monster it was. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. I have kind of just left it. It has been neglected. I mean, if that's not painfully obvious, it has been. It just sits in a big old tree and just grows where it wants. But I had to show you it because it's a bit of a monster. And I think this could be something great. I think I'd need to straighten it out a bit because it's a bit, it's a bit bent. But it's quite nice. So I don't know what I should do with him. Maybe I should try and just put him on a pole and straighten him because he's looking quite glorious, really. He hasn't been fed at any point, I don't think. He's just been so left. So imagine what happened if we did feed him, right? He could be quite sexy. 
So let me know what you think of him. Again, I'm not going to linger because I can't really do much with him. I can't really take him to the camera. Gosh, I can try, but it's not really going to work, is it? But that's him. Philodendron orange marmalade. I do have a smaller one, actually. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I've seen him recently. Let me pop this down. Guys, I've seen it. I've seen it somewhere. Where is it? Where is this orange marmalade? There it is. I found it. Two minutes. You know what? I'm not going to pick him up. He's rooted in. He's not coming out of there. I'm actually out of breath trying to get him out in this heat because we are in. What are we in? 26.3 degrees, 74.9% humidity. So we're a little bit lower this morning. I have had the doors open to get some fresh air in, but that's what we're running at. So it's a little bit hot. So that concludes my video of just some cute little stuff I found in the shop. Again, I could probably do a, a ton of these videos and I could probably go on for years about all the cute things in this shop because as you can imagine, I'm a little bit overrun. But here are today's cute things in the shop. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it very much. Let me know any of your opinions on any of these or if I should put any of them in the house, what you're thinking, because I do need help with this sort of stuff. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. It really helps. It lets me know that I'm making content that you enjoy. Similarly, please feel free to follow my socials. I post pictures of plants on there. I post updates on the shop if I have sales on, things like that. I have a selection of videos to watch if you're new here and you want to see more of my content. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you could hit subscribe. That's it for this week's video, guys. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I will see you next week. Bye.